Let's go to our buddy Steve from Conservative Monster. Steve, how are you, my friend? Jeff, welcome back, buddy. You know, I, I wanted to tell you, uh, you know, we need a special prosecutor to investigate the media silence and blackout and the de uh, defrauding of the public of this issue. Uh, I have a feeling once that starts getting around, they're going to start panicking and cracking because they are lying to uh, the uh, American people's face, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's enough of this already. Uh, Steve, you're completely right. They have been lying to us every step of the way. And it's not just on the birth certificate issue. And look, Steve, I want to be very clear here. Look, I'm a journalist. I can't, in good conscience, I don't know. That's the whole point. I can't say whether the birth certificate is legitimate or illegitimate. I don't know. I haven't seen it. That's my point. When they call all of you out there birthers, don't accept it. Because what they're trying to say is, you're like Holocaust deniers. You're like flat earthers. Like you're wild conspiracy theorists. No, you're constitutionalists. Well, Jeff, having, making, forcing uh, these people to start testifying under oath will change all that. Once you start uh, screaming special prosecutor, they're going to scatter like the rats that they are. Oh, you're going to see. Oh, no, you're, Steve, you're completely right. And you are going to... Phil Berg is like a hot knife through butter. This guy is a buzzsaw and he is slowly, slowly eating away at the Obama administration. He is eviscerating them. And the question that I have to the press corps is just a very simple one. Show us the records. That's it. This issue can go away today. It can go away yesterday. Tell me why this guy's college records remain unsealed. Why? Why his medical records remain unsealed. That's it. Now, I don't know why they remain sealed. It's not that I'm being coy. It's not that I'm somehow trying to evade the issue. Look, I can't proclaim definitively on anything. I haven't seen the evidence. But that's the point. Nobody has shown us anything. That's what I find mind-boggling about all of this. And if there, hey, if there's smoke, there's fire. You tell me. If Ray wanted to see my birth certificate, I'm being serious now. If all of you out there said, you know what, Jeff? You say you were born in Canada. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, Jeff. I think you were born in Iran. I think you were born uh, uh, in Pakistan. I think you're a secret Muslim plant. And I don't believe... You know what? We want to see your birth certificate. Here it is. I'll show you my birth certificate. I have nothing to hide. Jeff, I don't believe that you taught history at McGill. I don't believe you got a master's degree from Queen's University. I don't believe you did your PhD work at Ohio University. I'll show you my college records. I got nothing to hide. You want to see my master's thesis? You want to see the essays that I wrote? I got nothing to hide. So that's the point. We should know what our president did when he was in college. We should know what he advocated. We should know his entire background. My God, we should at least know his medical records. His health is very important to us deciding who he is. There is a book that has just come out now on Franklin Roosevelt. And it shows what a massive cover-up he, the administration, and the entire Washington media engaged in about his poor health. This man not only had polio, he was crippled. He was in a wheelchair. It looks like he was battling cancer. He had soaring high blood pressure to the point that it was debilitating. You want to know why we sold out Eastern Europe at Yalta? You want to know why we had such an, an effete, inept, incompetent president during World War II like Franklin Roosevelt? He was in poor health. The man didn't have the health to be in the Oval Office. That's why you have to have medical records unsealed. That's the price that you pay. And so my question to the mainstream press is a simple one. Stop covering up for him. What are you hiding? What are you afraid of? This is Jeff Cooner on 570 WTNT, the last honest man in Washington.